Dozens of physicians are exploring the application of Google Glass in healthcare, a new wearable device that could potentially replace some medical equipment. Alex Dierkman joins us again. Yes, Joe, I met with one IU Methodist Hospital trauma surgeon who was impressed with Google Glass when he used it in the operating room. He sees many ways it could be used in the medical field, but unless the device gets FDA approval, its future is uncertain. If we don't want to use the hands, which we do when we're in the OR, we go look up, OK, Glass, record a video. While looking for normal prescription eyeglasses online, Dr. Paul Zotek stumbled across Google Glass, a new wearable technology that displays information similar to a smartphone. Zotek applied to be a beta tester for the new device, then he waited for six months. They figured, you know, my story wasn't good enough. Uh, uh, we told them what we would like to do with it in trauma surgery. We told them what we'd like to do with it in general surgery. And then ultimately, uh, last November, I got an email from him and was asked to, to participate, and um, I, of course, said yes. A trauma surgeon at IU Health Methodist Hospital in Indianapolis, Zotek is the first doctor in Indiana to perform a surgery using the new technology. And what the Google Glass allowed us to do is, is to not take our eyes off the patient and at the same time be able to view the images so we knew it was sort of a guidance system. Zotek successfully removed a rare type of tumor from the midsection of a 45-year-old avid runner, husband and father from Avon, Indiana. Google Glass allowed him to pull the patient's x-ray and MRI photo into his field of view using voice commands during surgery. But Zotek says the real potential he sees for Google Glass is in the classroom. He says the glass can help students see a surgery and learn how to do the procedure through the doctor's perspective. One of the things you want to do is uh, position the head back. And Zotek taught me how to intubate or insert a breathing tube into a victim by walking me through the steps on a mannequin. But the first time around, I didn't do very well. Can you see down in there? All right, yeah. so you just broke all the teeth. We try not oh, to good. do that. We try not oh, to do that. Oh, good. <laughs> all right, so you want to... Zotek showed me how to insert the tube again, but this time he recorded a video with the Google Glass to show me from his point of view how to insert the instrument. Okay, and I'm going to get it right underneath the epiglottis. Okay, and, uh, and so what we can do is then we just slide the tube right in there in the airway. All right, and we're in. Okay. I put on the glass and right, then started the video. So tap it. So you're being able to look at the patient and see everything that I saw when I did that. From there, I was able to see the steps more clearly. Then yeah, I replayed the video as I attempted to intubate the victim right. a second time. Put that tube in the right spot. And we're in. <laughs> Commands this way too. Emerging technology specialist for the University high. Information um, Technology Services at Indiana University, Nita Chris Perez, says Google Glass can also be used as a live feed video communication tool. One of the things Glass can do is you can communicate with people, basically take a video call, and the person at the other end gets a feed of what that the person wearing glass sees, so from that first person perspective with the camera. With those capabilities, she says, it could even be used on the scene of an accident if they were on an emergency run, if they're an EMT, they can have someone give them advice on the fly in this really high stress situation. They can have a backup doctor help them, help guide them in handling the patient. So that if I'm a physician sitting back in the, uh, um, at the level one trauma center, I can actually see the, the accident or the, um, the wreck or whatever it is on the scene. I can help direct the resuscitation from the time that the EMS arrive on the scene all the way until they get to the hospital. But the future application of Google Glass in healthcare lies with the Food and Drug Administration. FDA regulations determine what is safe for humans. The FDA hates using ordinary purpose technologies where human contact is involved. Tablets and smartphones are used in general patient care. You might have seen one the last time you visited the doctor. But thus far, all uses of Google Glass and surgery have not been without backup medical equipment being at the ready. OK, Glass, increase SIVO 2 percent. But Kate says Google is in conversation with the FDA on a number of products, and major medical equipment companies like Philips are exploring practical applications compatible with the glass that could replace medical equipment, making the delivery of care easier and much smoother. 
Jack Jager joins us now. He's the director of the Rural Health Innovation Collaborative Simulation Center. Could you tell us first uh, briefly about what the center is and who makes it all up? So the center is a collaborative between multiple partners, uh, including Indiana University School of Medicine, Indiana State University, Ivy Tech, and Union Hospital. Uh, our center has a, a lot of different kinds of students, ranging from medical students, nurses, physicians assistants, even athletic trainers and exercise science majors. So we have a, a wide variety of kinds of students that, that utilize our facility. And you brought a pair of the Google Glass with us here. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how this is helping students? Well, what Google Glass does for us is it gives us a first-person point of view uh, way of, of educating our students. So in our simulations, we have patients and family members and then the care providers that go in and take care of them. And any one of those people could be wearing the glass during our simulations. It could be the patient, so we can see what the patient's seeing when people are taking care of them. It could be the, the student who's looking around the room and trying to uh, visualize what's important. And, immediately following simulation, then we debrief them and they watch the video that they have just taken care of, done. Mm -hmm. And they get to see what that person particularly thought was important during that simulation. How valuable is something like this? Well, it's, it's, it's really a tremendous tool for us. Um, I, I mm -hmm. see lots of different applications that we haven't even thought of really yet. Um, it, it really is a, a tool that, that's gonna provide us a way of, of getting inside our students' heads and seeing what they think is important. Are there any plans to expand the use of the Google Glass? We're going to use it in all kinds of different kinds of simulations, uh, mass casualty disasters where we, we take our, our simulators out on the road and do a, like a plane crash disaster, uh, things like that. And so having it in that situation would be very exciting for students to see too. Well, where's the, the future of the Google Glass in terms of healthcare? Well, like Dr. Zotek was kind of mentioning in the piece that uh, it can be used in an operating room, but you can also use it in a, in a, at a bedside type of setting where a nurse is trying to pull up labs uh, on a patient to see, you know, what their intake and output was, for example, or to, to just give them general information for teaching. They can actually put the, the glasses on themselves and watch a video that will instruct them on discharge planning or, or what have you. In some of the video we saw, the, uh, the glass part wasn't there, but right. uh, that can be added, of course, as we see in these yeah. prescription glasses and goggles too, right? You can put in goggles in them, uh, any kind of prescription, uh, or you can just wear them without the, the, glass, the glasses themselves and just have the, the actual computer uh, that you can look at. And how much are the, one of these cost? $1,900. And I assume those that cost will probably come down as time goes, goes on. We'll see probably more and more of these out just in the general public. Right. This is not open to the public yet, and I, there, that release is coming soon, I think. But right now, Google is using us and, and several other f facilities as Google Explorers to determine what kind of in, uh, unusual ways that it can be used. Thank you very much. Fascinating work. Thank you.